Hello YouTube. This is the rocket stove I've been working with for the past year when I have time, which uh, sometimes is hard to find. And uh, somebody asked me if I uh, ex could explain how the thing works, especially my pellet feeder. Well, this works great. The uh, The wood burning system is good, works great. I get uh, temperature, I can easily bring up top of the stove to 600 degrees, which I prefer about 450, but uh, that's I tr where I try to keep it. This is a small building, so I don't want it to get too hot. Uh, when it gets too hot, well, I just put that fan on and it uh, cools it down, keeps it about 400 degrees. The riser inside is about uh, three feet high. It comes up to here inside the top uh, chamber. Four inch pipe going out. That works great. Uh, now, problem is here. Uh, first time I uh, first try. My chute was just here. Notice that the pellets were, when it was pretty close to empty, wanted to burn back up. So I added this four inch piece, which means that the pellets fall down through there and don't come back up to want to burn. This is, this is the pellet burner that I fabricated uh, from uh, Jeff Crushfield design. I wish you would have put more uh, more videos on that burner because uh, I got questions. It burns well but after a while it plugs up with ashes. Maybe because I don't have a, a ash pit underneath it. I don't know. Uh, we'll try that next year. One thing that I notice is that the flame goes this is about uh, 12 inches and the flame goes at least 12 inches bringing my temperature just on pellet on top of the stove at 350 I would like to bring that up to about 450 one thing that I believe that I could do is to take this part uh, put another put another uh, pipe here and attach it closer to my burn tube my riser tube so that uh, it will burn more into the riser tube create more draft maybe it will uh, it will work better I'll try that as soon as I'm I'm able to but right now just as it is like this here I get about 350 degrees on top of my stove. I saw, I saw a video of somebody creating a pellet burner not too long ago. And he had just his pellet burner inside of a, about the same chamber, 4x4. Four four. Pellet burner slides in. Just like that. And now when I burn it like this here, I'll never reach over 350 degrees on top of the stove. So, what I made myself is a little plate. Okay. Now I got to align this. That plugs up pretty well everything but the holes in the burner. What that does is concentrate the airflow and brings up the temperature to 450 degrees in the on my at the top of my stove. Now if I had this part closer to the stove itself, 
I believe I could get even higher. Now, I'm going to put some pellet in the stove and be right back. Well, I put some pellets in it. This is actually one gallon. Uh, one US gallon of pellet, which will last me anywhere between two and a half hours to three hours. Now, right up my pellets. Just use a torch. I light up the fire and be back in a second. By having those holes in the plate just over the holes of the burner, it concentrates the draft and within a minute after burn it's starting to fire, I get the rocketing sound. Well, if I didn't have that plate on top of uh, my burner, it takes about five minutes to light it up. With this year, it lights up a lot faster. Now, if I, let me see if I'm able to see the fire. I usually keep this closed, but I like to peek to see what the fire is doing. And it's well. I'll wait until the uh, someone somebody was asking me about why the pellet were not burning up to the hopper. Well, the way I see it is that when the pellet, the fire concentrate that way, going this way here, vertical or horizontal, it doesn't want to go up the uh, the chute. So, hey, I'm not an expert, but it works, and uh, that's what I care about. It's a gravity fed, and I like it. since I let up the stove uh, temperature is almost at 400 all these uh, are not the most accurate way of measure the temperature but it's the I don't have a laser term thermometer so it's what I use for now and Almost never, almost didn't lose, use much pellet, so that's good. Now I know that the temperature around here is about is over 800 degrees. So what I'm thinking is that if I could take this part here, where is the pellet burner parts, and put it like here, where it's closer to the uh, riser. I would get a better draft and uh, a better burn, more efficient burn of the pellets, uh, which is uh, 
something I will do a little bit later on but I will uh, remove this part here and uh, make myself a bigger burn chamber and what I'll do is I'll cut another hole there and take this part here and put it here uh, I do have a 4x4 four four riser which is the same as this here so I should be able to uh, easily attach it to the side which means I have to tear down a whole uh, the whole rocket stove and also put myself a secondary air which I don't have which will probably increase the efficiency of the of the unit of the stove I'm hoping for well this is my uh, this is my rocket stove now if you do have uh, any suggestion I would appreciate it very much any comment write it below thank you for watching okay this is the problem that I get I don't know if you can see it let's try Ashes uh, plugs up the bottom of my burner so I don't get an efficient burn up to that point I get a pretty good burn I don't know if my burn is too long or if I'm uh, doing something wrong I don't know thought that my uh, thought that the cracked that I have See it plugs up the bottom holes, only leaving a couple of, on the top. So that's one thing I'm going to have to fix.